let A is a set which is collection of all the ordered pair X and Y. X and Y both are real numbers. So that mod of X plus Y is greater than equal to 3. That means X plus Y is either greater than 3 or X plus Y is less than equal to negative 3. So let's draw the graph of this in the 2D plane. X plus Y equal to 3 is the boundary line case which will be a straight line having slope minus 1 and similarly x plus y equal to negative 3 is also the boundary line case having slope same as minus 1. So these are two parallel lines. x plus y equal to 3 will be somewhat like this. So this is your x plus y equal to 3 and we need x plus y greater than equal to 3 means this side of the line and x plus y equal to negative 3 will be a line parallel to the previous line somewhat like this which will be intersecting the x-axis first line at 3 0 and 0 3 and this line will be intersecting at 0 negative 3 and negative 3 comma 0. So we need this side of line and this side of line. So that is done from the first inequality. Now coming to the second one mod x plus mod y less than equal to 3. So first case when x and y both are positive, x is greater than 0, y is greater than 0. We are in the first quadrant, we get x plus y less than equal to 3. But it is exactly same as this, or not same as, it is the reverse of that. It is greater than, but this time we are getting less than. But the boundary line is same, x plus y equal to 3, and we are looking for less than. So we are inside this. So basically common of these two is this line itself. Now what do we need? We need the symmetricity, symmetricity of the function. So we know that when we replace x by negative x and we get the same relation, which is even function basically, then the graph is symmetric about y-axis. So this graph, the straight line which you have drawn, when you take symmetricity about y-axis, how it will look like. And this line will only be in the first quadrant because we have taken the condition that x and y both are positive. Now symmetricity about y-axis, so it will be like this. The graph will be like this. And also when you replace y by negative y and you get the same relation, then the graph is symmetric about x-axis. Such graph will not be a function because it will not obey the laws of function that one input should have only one output. But graph will be like this. This graph's symmetricity about x-axis. So this is done with second inequality inside this region. Now C is all those collection of X and Y, which is both present in A and B and X is zero or Y is zero. Means the previous graph boundary line means this case, this case, and it should intersect X axis. So it is intersecting X axis at these two points or it should intersect Y axis to these two points. So we got four points and those are three zero, zero three, negative three zero, and 0, negative 3. These are the values of x, y, and we need the summation of all those values. So summation of mod of x plus y of all the possibilities. So this will be 3. This will be again 3. This will be again 3 because of modulus. So the answer should be 12. Yes, the answer is given as 12.